guys welcome to the session how is everyone doing today good to see you guys how is everyone hi kartik hello vikas hi diya hi priyansh hello guys welcome to the session hi soumya hello karuna hi manjunath welcome to the session how is everyone doing today good 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 to see you all of you join in hello neha welcome to the session monica hi sana good evening okay how is everyone doing today i hope all of you are doing good guys i hope you had a great weekend hi dipanshu welcome to the session hello vishal i'm doing good what about you guys i hope all of you are doing good i hope all of you have had a great weekend and you're back correct so guys we are back with a new series today which is called as vocabulary made easy okay some of you have watched the, attended the 2020 vocabulary made easy series live some of you watched the recording of the 2020 vocabulary made easy series live and some of you who are completely new to this area welcome to the session okay uh, yes i know is it so karuna are yes thank you so much guys okay hi vedika welcome to the session hello zigzag good evening abhishek Hello Vikas okay hope you get better soon Vikas hi Manshi welcome to the session hello Sana <laughs> no dia no ah he sleeping okay so guys i hope all of you are doing good come on let's get started with a new series new month guys so those who have not yet taken the subscription i want to see all of you taking the subscription guys this month good evening divya welcome to the session hi sariga Hello Supriyo hi Amresh good to see all of you join in guys good evening so guys i want every single one of you who's taking the subscription to apply the code ritu mba while subscribing or koi code nahi guys first may third may fifth may these batches are starting i want all of you to attend these batch there's a complete revision batch for those of you who are going from maharashtra ct guys so is batch ko zarur capitalize karna there is a legend batch where you will be taught by arun sharma isko capitalize karna and you have a perfect score batch as well hi ritesh welcome to the session i am good dia how are you okay so guys i want all of you to take the cat subscription okay plus subscription low iconic subscription low or guys ek bahut achhi news hai aap sab ke liye okay so those of you are planning for subscription guys there's a new offer which is called as the six agar aap 6 months ka subscription lete ho okay today If you take the six month subscription, guys, you will get one month ka free extended subscription till your CAT examination. Because six month subscription, guys, आपको November first तक cover करता है, but you will get one month of free subscription till your CAT twenty twenty one. Okay, so one month extension you will get on the purchase of six months. So please make sure that you capitalize on this offer as well. Okay, hi Aditya, hello Chetan, hi Akash, welcome to the session. So guys please make sure that you use this offer those who are contemplating the subscription jaldi se lo because guys if you take it today you know uh, if you buy the subscription today you're going to get an extension for one month as well so till your cat 2021 you're all sorted yes i am i hope you're safe and secure as well okay okay guys come on so don't forget to take the subscription by applying the code ritu mba okay so now guys good good are yes dia Okay so guys uh, let's start off so our vocabulary this is going to be an 8 day vocab challenge 8 days is going to be basic vocab sessions and after that we are going to go into advanced vocab session so as the thumbnail of this session said 8 days we are going to cover all the root words uske baad guys we are going to go into advanced session jaise hum log eponyms karenge mythological words karenge hum log homonyms homophones karenge hum log connotations karenge collocation karenge fill in the blanks karenge analogy questions karenge so uh, eight days is going to be basic exercises where you learn the words and then the next week is going to be the application classes so your entire vocabulary is going to be sorted okay now when we talk about root words aaj ka hamara target hai guys root words will go letter wise theek hai guys so today's target is letters a and b but first let me give you a quick introduction because some of you are beginners correct some of you are joining me from the first you know aapne kabhi rps session attend nahi kiya hai Hi Nishi. Now, guys, roots. RPS basically stands for roots, prefix, and suffix. Okay, this is the best way in order to learn vocabulary because we cannot afford to memorize words. Okay, आपको ये session बहुत बार 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 करना पड़ेगा, guys. मतलब you know it's 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 going to be now as a repository. So whenever आपको vocab का revision करना है, you just have to watch these eight videos and trust me, guys, your vocabulary will be taken care of. 
Hi Aditya, welcome to the session. Now roots guys, why do we study the root words? Because words in English are based on other Hi Dipanshu, yes. So guys, English ke jo words hai, they are adapted from other languages, correct? So you have Latin, Greek, French, Spanish, even Sanskrit and a lot of other Indian languages. Yes, yes, exact. So when we learn a root word, guys, okay, jaise for example, guys, I give you a simple word, okay? Suppose I give you a word, you come across a word in the examination which says circumspect. Let's say you've never heard of the word circumspect. All you have to do is try and break down the word into its constituent parts. Okay, so you will have circum and you will have spect. Hi Devanshi. Now tell me what is the meaning of circum? Circum ka kya meaning hota hai guys? You have circum spect. What is the meaning of the word circum? What do you mean by circum guys? Can I say when you say circum friends, circum navigate? Can we say circum means round? Yes, of course, Vedika. So this is exactly for all of you, whether you're IP mat, whether you're CAT, whether you're C mat, or whatever, G mat, GRE, Koi bhi. Even if you're even if you're giving a bank examination, this class is for you guys because vocabulary is important everywhere. And this is the same course for all of you because the words remain the same. Okay, so circum means round. And guys, can I say spect? Spect matlab kya? What do we do with our spect? Spect means to look, correct? Spect means to see. Now, you just have to put them together. So, if I say before investing in the share market, be circumspect. Before, hi Simrat. Before investing in the share market, be circumspect means you basically have to look around. If you look around, you're being careful. Correct. You're being wary. You're being cherry. Okay. You're being cautious. So, what we will do is we will discuss the root words. We will discuss sample words from these root words and we will discuss synonyms and antonyms. Hi Meet, welcome to the session. Good evening Rohan. Are, wow. Achha, achha, now you're, achha, that's why I wasn't able to see you. Okay, so around, circum means around, spec means look or see. So circumspect becomes to look around or to be careful. Hi Manasvi. So to be careful, to be wary, to be cherry, to be cautious. Okay. So now guys, ab chalte hain in questions pe. Okay. Now, so guys, now we'll start off with the root words. Okay. So we are going to go letter wise guys. Today's letters are A and B. Okay. So I've written the words from these letters. You're free to tell me more words. And usse hum look synonyms bhi dekhenge and antonyms bhi dekhenge. So the green column is going to be for the synonyms guys or meanings. And the red columns for all the words are going to be antonyms. So I will put across this PPT uh, with annotations on the group. So please make sure that you go through it. Okay, clear guys? Got it everyone? Okay, so shall we get started? All of you ready with this? Okay, good evening Meenal. Come on guys, let's get started. Chalo. So the first word is on your screen, atheist. Now guys, you're going to pick up a lot more root words here. Now when I say atheist, when I say, see, a and an as a prefix generally gives you the meaning of not or without. Okay, so now guys, when you say atheist, theo ka matlab kya hota hai? When you say theo, theo means God or theo means religion. For example, theology is the study of God or the study of religion. Now, so when you say a person is an atheist, a person is an atheist, a person is a believer or a non-believer? A, per a person is a believer or a non-believer? So atheist is a person who does not believe in God. Atheist, correct, who does not believe in God. The opposite of this is going to be a theist, correct? Now, can you tell me who is an agnostic? Who is an agnostic person, guys? Atheist, you told me, is a non-believer. Theist is a believer. Who is an agnostic person? Gnos, guys. Gnos basically means knowledge. For example, why do we go to diagnostic centers in order to know what is the disease that you're suffering from? So who is an agnostic? Come on. A again means no. So guys, here we can take agnostic Because A means no. Correct. Gnos basically means knowledge. So who is an agnostic person? Who is an agnostic person? Correct. An agnostic person is basically someone who is skeptical about the existence of God. 
an agnostic person is a skeptic okay he is unsure or he is doubtful about the existence of god good evening amit welcome to the session so such a person is called as an agnostic person clear so atheist is a non believer theist is a believer and agnostic is a skeptical person now okay guys so there is no electricity but nonetheless we'll continue now come on guys you have to tell me uh, different forms of these words okay now you have to tell me different forms of these words what would you call someone who is excessively uh, uh, you know a uh, believer he matlab but excessive belief almost to an extent that you are skeptical means doubtful correct what do you call someone who has an excessive belief almost to the extent that you are able to you are willing to kill yourself and others in the name of that belief what do you call such a person bangalore vikas what do you call such a person someone who is an extremist when it comes to his beliefs what do you call such a person such a person will be called as a zealot correct such a person will be called as a zealot such a person will be called as a fanatic okay such a person will be called as a zealot correct are thank you amit such a such a person is going to be called as a zealot or such a person is going to be called as a fanatic no a chauvinist uh, correct okay when you say male chauvinism yeah in a way excessive loyalty good chetan correct 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 okay very good guys come on let's go to the next one anemic what do you mean by anemic guys what is the meaning of the word anemic come on guys what is the meaning of the word anemic and quickly you have to tell me the meanings of these words quickly correct dia jihadist but it has to be j i correct perfect okay anemic basically means lack of anemia what is anemia lacking what lacking red blood cells or lacking hemoglobin guys anemia is no rbc not enough rbc or not enough hemoglobin next one chroma what do you mean by the word chroma correct low on rbcs and that is why you get you know you're feeling very weak that is called as anemic a chromatic a chroma what is the meaning of chroma chroma basically means color so when you say a chromatic a chromatic means colorless the opposite of a chromatic is going to be polychromatic opposite is going to be polychromatic you can say motley motley or you can say varied colors okay so achromatic is absence of color anomaly very important word guys very very crucial word okay what is the meaning of anomaly yes i'm going to cover the entire vocabulary samrat okay so this is a basics class this is the first class anomaly ka matlab kya hota hai guys suppose you're experiencing a snowfall in the month of june okay snowfall in the month of june hi dhriti welcome to the session how are you hi praveen so guys snowfall in the month of june hello sahil a chromatic is something which is a sorry a anomaly is something which is a typical it is something which is unusual it is something which is peculiar okay it is something which is a typical peculiar irregular not normal correct abnormal strange uncommon very good next one so a typical is same anomaly is same and hydris hydra means water i am good thriti color is chroma so a chromatic means no color something which is colorless okay a chromatic becomes no color yeah these are the root words this is the root word this is the root word okay so we am i am writing down the other subsidiary root words here jaise theo ka aaya chroma ka aaya bas yahan tak abhi tak theo ka aaya hai aur chroma ka aaya that's all okay now next one and hydris now let's take up hydra what is the meaning of hydra guys can i say hydra means water so when you say and hydris no rithik just getting started and hydris is no water hello sarthak and hydris is no water or lack of water can you tell me other words for it guys can you tell me other synonyms for and hydris can you tell me other synonyms for and hydris anomaly uh, vikas just remember snowfall in june snowfall in june is anomalous anomalous is something which is irregular anomalous is something which is atypical or peculiar okay very good 
सो गाइज जब आप एन हाइड्रस बोलते हैं एन हाइड्रस बेसिकली मीन्स नो वॉटर तो इसके लिए द वर्ड दैट वी कैन यूज इज डेसिकेटेड और डिहाइड्रेटेड करेक्ट यू कैन ईदर से डेसिकेटेड और यू कैन से डिहाइड्रेटेड ओके डेसिकेटेड इज बेसिकली जैसे हम लोग ड्रॉट ड्रॉट इज ऑल्सो द शॉर्टेज ऑफ वॉटर सो वेन यू से डेसिकेटेड कोकोनट वेरी गुड एरेड जब आप डेसिकेटेड कोकोनट बोलते हैं ड्राई कोकोनट ओके द ऑपोजिट ऑफ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी गाइज फ्लड बोल सकते हो एंड इंटेंस फ्लड इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेल्यूज ओके इंटेंस फ्लड इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेल्यूज येस येस रितेश अपडेटेड वंस करेक्ट एरेड डिहाइड्रेटेड डेसिकेटेड ड्रॉट the opposite is going to be flood and deluge deluge is a severe flood for example aap bolte ho deluge of information are very good amit parched agar aap bolo my throat is parched if you say my throat is parched my throat is very very dry drought drought means shortage of water drought is shortage of water correct jab aap drought bolte ho drought is basically shortage of water जैसे फैमिन इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड वैसे ड्रॉट इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ वॉटर ओके हाई नेहा करेक्ट गाइस ओके नेक्स्ट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड एन आर की वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ आर्क गाइस वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ आर्क हाँ पायल बोलो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ आर्क गाइस ड्रॉट मतलब शॉर्टेज ऑफ वॉटर्स आएगा जब यू नो ड्रॉट आती है तो दैट मीन्स एज नो शॉर्टेज ऑफ देर इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ वॉटर आर्क मीन्स रूल गाइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम लोग मोनार्की बोलते हैं मोनार्की इज वन रूल सो एन आर की इज नो रूलर सो जब आप नो रूलर बोलोगे तो कैसा सिचुएशन होगा गाइज देर इज गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीट डिसऑर्डर देर इज गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीट के ऑस देर इज गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीट मेहम मेहम के ऑस पैंडेमोनियम ओके पैंडेमोनियम इट मीन्स देर इज कम्प्लीट कंफ्यूजन एंड दिया वट इज द वर्ड हब हब Correct. There is complete commotion. There is disorder. There is pandemonium. Okay. Ah, इसको pandemonium करते हैं. रुको. Okay. Pandemonium. So complete chaos. Complete mayhem. Complete pandemonium. Complete ruckus. Okay. Communalism is Amit. Ah, uh, you do not. It's the opposite of capitalism. Communalism is a belief. अच्छा आप communalism बोले हो. Okay. Okay. I thought communalism. रुको. जब आप कम्युनलिज्म बोलते हो इट बेसिकली मीन इट बेसिकली मीन्स यू बिलीव इन कम्युनल मतलब कम्युनल मतलब आप कम्युनिटीज बोलते हो ना सो व्हेन यू से कम्युनल वायलेंस वैसे वाला सो कम्युनलिज्म और कम्युनल मीन्स वेरी लॉयल टू योर एथनिक ग्रुप और वेरी लॉयल टू योर फेथ दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कम्युनलिज्म आर्च इज ऑल्सो यहाँ करो ना बट एज अ रूट वर्ड आर्क मीन्स रूल Uh, how do we will connect all this meaning who need ha so no pile you have to go through this again and again and again to aap log ek baar sun rahe ho fir aap ek do baar aur sunoge series you will be perfect in it okay but as far as possible break down guys arc matlab monarchy mono means one arc means rule so uh, monarchy means single ruler वैसे anarchy means no ruler kyunki an means not arc means rule okay clear guys clear pandemonium in airplanes that's with a commotion uh, disturbance turbulence that is it okay very good a moral a moral means someone who is indifferent towards morals aapko fark nahi padta hai it basically means no morals okay you are indifferent to morality matlab aap morals pe ethics pe dhyan nahi dete ho okay so uh, aditya when you say crazy crazy also means rule है ना क्रेसी का मतलब भी रूल होता है जैसे डेमोक्रेसी जैसे ओके यू आर टेलिंग सो यू कैन से एज अ सिनोनिम आप मोबोक्रेसी बोल सकते हो मोबोक्रेसी बेसिकली मींस द रूल ऑफ द मॉब अब मॉब का रूल होगा तो कंप्लीट के होगा मेहम होगा डिसऑर्डर होगा क्रेसी का मतलब भी रूल होता है मोबोक्रेसी मोबोक्रेसी इज रूल बाई दी मॉब मतलब वाइलेंस करेक्ट करेक्ट ओके अनस्क्रूपलेस नो दैट विल बी इमोरल साई प्रसन्ना इमोरल ओके हाँ करेक्ट करेक्ट रोहन सो विल कम टू दैट विल कम टू इंसिस्टेंट इज वेल सो गाइज एंटनिम्स ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स ठीक है अगर आपको एनआरकी का एंटनिम चाहिए तो आप मोनार्की लिखो मोनार्की मीन्स रूल बाय वन पर्सन यू कैन राइट डेमोक्रेसी डेमोक्रेसी इज द रूल ऑफ पीपल ओके सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ रूल ऑपोजिट ऑफ दैट इज गोइंग टू बी नो रूलर ओके नॉन शलांट मतलब अमित फर्क नहीं पड़ता 
योर नॉन शिलान योर इंसिस्टेंट आपको फर्क नहीं पड़ता है ओके थैंक यू करुणा कमॉन ए मोरफिस गाइज वॉट इज मोरफ अमीबा इज ए मोरफिस ना अमीबा में क्या नहीं है अमीबा में क्या नहीं है अमीबा हैज नो वॉट मॉर्फ मतलब क्या मॉर्फ मीन्स गाइज मॉर्फ का मतलब होता है शेप वेन यू से मॉर्फ मॉर्फ मीन्स शेप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू से मॉर्फोलॉजी मॉर्फोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ शेप अमीबा हैज नो शेप अमीबा का कोई भी डिस्टिंक्ट फॉर्म नहीं होता है अमीबा इज समथिंग दैट इज शेपलेस है ना अमीबा हैज नो बाउंड्री इट हैज नो शेप इट हैज नो फॉर्म सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अमोरफिस ओके सो गाइज कैन यू टेल मी सम सिनोनिम्स फॉर अमोरफिस कैन यू टेल मी सम सिनोनिम्स फॉर अ अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड बोलो अनफॉर्म्ड बोलो ओके वॉट एल्स वॉट एल्स कैन यू से in a way in a way you can also say it is a nebulous concept nebula nebulous concept nebulous matlab bhi it's not clear uska koi shape nahi hai uska koi shape nahi hai clear nahi hai defined nahi hai so you can also call it as nebulous repertoire uh, arjun matlab collection for example repertoire of memories collection of memories 5 baje uh, sapar sapratib it's 5 o'clock ओके एवरी डे ऑन यूट्यूब एंड एट पी एम ऑन स्पेशल क्लास सो ऑल इफ यू टू डाउनलोड दी अन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप आई विल मीट यू फॉर फ्री लाइव क्लासेस डेली ऑन दी एप एट एट पी एम सो टेक एट पी एम का सब्सक्रिप यू नो जस्ट डाउनलोड दी एप और ऋतु एम बी ए लगाकर जल्दी से एनरोल करो गाइस ओके आपको फ्री क्लासेस के लिए कोड पूछा जाएगा ऋतु एम बी ए लगाओ सुबीर मोबोक्रेसी मतलब रूल ऑफ द मॉब मॉब मतलब अनरूली क्राउड मतलब जो चाहिए लोग कर रहे हैं ओके अमीबा इज नो शेप इंसिस्टेंट इज नॉन शिलांट करेक्ट प्रियांश बोता सिनोनिम्स ओके नेक्स्ट वन अनोनिमिस गाइस क्विकली चलो हम लोग एक ही रूट पे हैं अभी तक अनोनिमिस नेम मींस नेम सो व्हेन यू से अनोनिमिस अनोनिमिस बेसिकली मींस नेमलेस अनोनिमिस मींस अननोन एपनिया एपनिया गाइस इज मतलब नो ब्रीदिंग रेस्पिरेशन रुक गया है सो नो ब्रीदिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एपनिया so your respiration has stopped it could be temporarily as well you finding it difficult to breathe so jaise sleep apnea hota hai you know during sleep sometimes people stop you know wo breath aata nahi hai so that is called as sleep apnea okay what is atrophy guys when you say muscular atrophy atrophy basically means weakness degeneration kyunki kaam mein nahi aa raha hai to wo for example guys hum log tv dekhte rehte hain So, बच्चों के क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग स्किल्स का अट्रोफी हो गया है अट्रोफी बेसिकली मीन्स डी जेनरेशन वाई इज देर अ डी जेनरेशन और वीकनेस बिकॉज पीपल आर नॉट यूजिंग इट एनी मोर करेक्ट येस अजय नो दिस इज नॉट माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन अन अकेडमी यू कैन सी माई प्ले लिस्ट दिस इज माई फर्स्ट दिस इज टूडे मे यू नो दिस इज अ न्यू कोर्स दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑन वोकेबलरी ओके सो गाइज यू हैव एपनिया यू हैव अट्रोफी अट्रोफी इज ऑल्सो वीकनेस ओके नाउ क्लियर गाइज now i'm sure all of you might be uh, clear with this all of you are clear with this okay come on let's go to the next one ab abs away and from jab aap away aur from bologe iska basic matlab aata hai guys separation juda karna okay iska basic meaning hota hai separation ya juda karna okay wasting away excellent wasting away very good so now guys very important words abdicate abnegate abjure the king has abdicated his throne the king has abnegated his throne the king has abjured his throne in sab ka matlab hota hai renounce or deny for a simple example guys remember king ashoka okay yeah of this playlist correct correct ajay of this playlist this is a first lecture so the king has abdicated his throne the king has abnegated his throne the king has abjured his throne he has denied it or he has usurped it इसका ऑपोजिट आप एक तरह से एक्सेप्ट बोल सकते हो एंड गाइस अगर आपको थोड़ा नेगेटिव कॉनोटेशन में बोलना है तो यूसअप भी बोल सकते हो यूसअप करना मतलब किसी से छीनना ओके मींस इट एक्चुअली बिलोंग्स टू समवन एल्स बट यू आर यूसअपिंग इट सो इसका एक नेगेटिव कॉनोटेशन ये यूसअप भी हो सकता है ओके एंड एज एन ऑपोजिट अबडक्ट गाइज समीन अबडक्टेड यू कैन से अबडक्ट बेसिकली मीन्स किडनेप 
aberration err what is err err basically means error aberration if you're committing an aberration no ishan i'll put this across on the group just sit back and listen okay so ab means away or from dic dictate matlab uh, in a way to uh, like a ruler dictates na apna will chalana par aap abdicate karte ho to aap bolte ho ki mujhe nahi chahiye so dic means to say dic means to say किसको करेक्ट 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 सीड भी बोल सकते हैं वेरी गुड टू सीड योर टेरिटरीज एबडिकेट और गिव अप वेरी गुड ओके एबरेशन इज एरर सो व्हेन यू से एबरेशन गाइस इट बेसिकली मींस डिविएशन और डिफेक्शन व्हाट इज डिफेक्शन व्हाट इज डिविएशन डिविएटिंग और डिफेक्टिंग फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एबरेशन द ऑपोजिट ऑफ एबरेशन गाइस इज बेसिकली कंप्लायंट If you are a compliant person, you are following the rules and regulations of the organization. Uh, but if you are committing an aberration, you are committing a defection or a deviation. Correct. Divergence. You are not following the rules. Nahi kar rahe ho. Okay. If you say I abhor, uh, I abhor uh, whatever, lying, cheating, whatever. So when you say abhor, abhor ka matlab hota hai hate, vehemently. Vehement matlab very strong. so when you say vehement dislike vehement vehement dislike matlab strong dislike correct rogue bhi bol sakte mission impossible na rogue nation he is committing an aberration correct so rogue good good so vehement or intense dislike or abhor so opposite of abhor will be affinity affinity means strong liking or predilection predilection ka matlab bhi hota hai strong liking If you have an affinity for chocolates, you have divergence is correct, Aditya. Correct for deviation, you can also go with divergence. Yes, it will be available on YouTube. Affinity, the playlist will be called as vocabulary made easy. Vituperator will come to it, Divya. Vituperator is very harsh or bitter language. Loath bol sakte ho. Correct. Loath bolenge hum log. L O A T H. Okay. Ah, uh, you loath liars. L O A T H E ne. What is L O A T H E, guys? What is L O A T H E? Sorry, L O A T H E. बोलेंगे. What is L O A T H? Sorry, L O A T H means reluctant. You're loath to accept the proposal, reluctant. But if L O A T H E बोलोगे, L O A T H E बोलोगे, that means hate. Okay, so you can say abhor. You will say loath. You will say dislike. Okay, loath is dislike. Loath is hatred, Amit. Okay, you loathe, uh, let's say, uh, chocolate. You hate chocolate. So hate, vehemently dislike, loathe. Opposite is going to be affinity or predilection. Affinity and predilection basically means strong liking. Abject. You're living a life of abject poverty. What is abject poverty? Abject poverty is basically in a very miserable condition, in a very very downtrodden condition. so if you're living a life of abject poverty miserable downtrodden come on guys quickly abominable you find uh, you find people who show off abominable what do you mean by abominable if you say it's an for example caste system it's an abominable practice what do you mean by abominable it is something which is very repugnant it is something which is very unpleasant it is something which has to be criticized Okay, now down to earth. Down to earth is humble. Down to earth is humble. Okay, so abominable practice is very very repugnant. Correct. Next one, ab originals. Guys, who are ab originals? Correct. Aditya, but no, you can't call them as servile. That is S E R. No, servile is as horrible. Correct. You can say horrible. Ab originals, guys. If you say the ab originals, ab originals are basically who are from the beginning, from the beginning, the original inhabitants of that place. Generally, it's used for tribals. No, not not original. It basically means someone who are from the beginning. Okay, जो बहुत पहले से वहाँ रहते हैं, they are called as ab originals. Generally, we look at them for tribals. Correct. You can say abominable practice के लिए odious practice. Very good. odious unpleasant repugnant very good excellent o d i o u s perfect aboriginal who is there from the beginning abrogate the supreme court has abrogated the verdict of the high court abrogate karna matlab revoke karna 
एब्रोगेट करना मतलब इन वे अनाल करना एब्रोगेट करना मतलब कैंसिल करना दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एब्रोगेट हेलो प्राची वेलकम टू द सेशन वाव प्राची नाइस आई होप योर पेपर वेंट वेल यस दिया मैम जेक्ट मीन्स समथिंग एल्स हाँ जेक्ट मीन्स टू थ्रो जेक्ट मीन्स टू थ्रो सो इन अ वे टू थ्रो डाउन सो दैट्स वाई डाउन थ्रोड इन कंडीशन एब वहां पे मीनिंग देता है दिया डाउन नीचे अवे वैसे ओके ओके abstract and abstruse if it's an abstruse concept it's something which is obscure it is something which is unclear it is something which is hazy it is something which is blurry uska opposite kya hoga something which is very lucid something which is very pellucid theek hai lucid aur pellucid ka matlab hota hai clear aur abstract aur abstruse ka matlab hota hai unclear ya vague Okay, come on, guys, quickly, a little faster. Chalo, abstain. Please abstain from drinking and driving. Yes, you can say vivid also. Please abstain from drinking and driving. Abstain means to stay away. So, who is an abstemious person? An abstemious person is no indulgence. No indulgence. मतलब you lead a very strict life. You lead a very ascetic life. You lead a life like a monk. You refrain, correct. You stay away from all sorts of indulgences. आप कुछ मतलब no drinking, nothing, 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 all of that. Arcane concept. Arcane is something which is mysterious. Arcane का मतलब होता है mysterious. Okay, so in a way you can say obscure. Refrain का मतलब होता है stay away, stay away, abstain from all pleasures. Correct. Very good. Abrasion. Abrasion, guys, मतलब to rub away. ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आपके हाथ रोप से बांध दिए जाए यू विल फाइंड अब्रेशन ऑन योर हैंड यू नो सॉइल जैसे इरोजन होता है वैसे यू नो व्हेन दिस यू नो इट अब्रेड्स फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे गोल्ड में आप घिसो 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 तो अब्रेशन आ जाते हैं सो अब्रेशन मतलब इट्स बेसिकली रब अवे वेरी गुड एक्सिलेंट अ बेस गाइज किसी को अबेस करना मतलब बेस मतलब नीचा सो so, किसी को बी लिटिल करना किसी को नीचा दिखाना For which one? For which one can it be corporeal? Ha, corporeal correct because corporeal person is a very materialistic person. Excellent. A corporeal person is a very materialistic person. And guys, opposite can also be epicurean. Who is an epicurean person? An epicurean person who believes in fine drinking and dining and living your life to the fullest. Or you can also call such a person as a hedonist. A hedonist is also someone who loves to enjoy life. Fine drinking and dining. Decry, uh, dec yeah, no way. Decry is to criticize. Disparage, बोल सकते हैं. Very good. Disparage. Par मतलब equal. किसी को disparage करना मतलब किसी को equal नहीं देखना. किसी को नीचा दिखाना. Abrasion, guys, मतलब ऐसे rub होकर मतलब it's it's erode करना. In a way, you know, smooth. ऐसे मतलब जोर जोर से. This is basically abrasion. ओके अबैश्ड करेक्ट ह्यूमिलिएट करना नीचा दिखाना वेरी गुड रिमेंबर द वर्ड्स एपिक्यूरियन एंड हेडोनिस्ट गाइस हुज एन एपिक्यूरियन और हुज अ हेडोनिस्ट एंड एपिक्यूरियन एंड अ हेडोनिस्ट पर्सन इज समवन हु बिलीव्स इन एंजॉयिंग लाइफ लिविंग लाइफ टू द फुलेस्ट सो सुबीर आठ दिन तक हम लोग पूरा वो कैप करने की कोशिश करेंगे सो so, यही चलेगा डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लेटर्स एंड मोर वर्ड्स यू नो वंस यू आर डन थ्रू द फर्स्ट थ्री सेशंस फिर ऑटोमेटिकली आपको सारे वर्ड्स आने लग जाएंगे एबस्टेन का दोबारा बताना एबस्टेन बेसिकली मतलब एबस्टेन का मतलब होता है रिफ्रेन सो इफ आई से प्लीज एबस्टेन फ्रॉम ड्रिंकिंग एंड ड्राइविंग प्लीज रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम ड्रिंकिंग एंड ड्राइविंग सो जब आप बोलते हो एबस्टेन फ्रॉम ड्रिंकिंग एंड ड्राइविंग इट मीन्स टू रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम ड्रिंकिंग एंड ड्राइविंग अदित्य हेडोनिस्ट इज अ प्लेजर सीकर हेडोनिस्ट वो होता है जिसको प्लेजर चाहिए सो ही सीक्स प्लेजर सो फाइन ड्रिंकिंग डाइनिंग वो सब नई ऋतिक स्पेशल क्लास में अलग सीरीज चलेगी सो सुबीर हमारी पैरा जम्बल्स क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग आर सी ऑड वन आउट ऑल ऑफ दोज विल रन इन द स्पेशल क्लासेस एंड इन द यूट्यूब क्लासेस वी विल कंप्लीट वोकेबलरी एंड ग्रामर अरे गुड रोहन ऑरेंज कॉलम आर मोर ऑफ ऑपोजिट्स सो ऑरेंज कॉलम ऑपोजिट्स ग्रीन कॉलम्स आर सिनोनिम्स ग्रीन में सिनोनिम्स ऑरेंज में ऑपोजिट्स ओके क्लियर गाइज 
come on let's go to the next one very important root word guys from the point of view of tone pehle is root word k i will write down the examples it basically means sharp or sour or bitter theek hai guys so for example acerate okay now guys please forgive my drawing so hitman download the app okay you know the unacademy learning app so aap unacademy learning app download kar lo theek hai अनकेडमी लर्निंग एप डाउनलोड करने के बाद आप अपना गोल कैट मैनेजमेंट एग्जाम सेलेक्ट करके ऋतु एम बी ए लगा देना या तो अगर आप ग्रुप पे हो अन अकेडमी अंडर स्कोर ऋतु दुधोरिया सो आई पुट अक्रॉस द लिंक फॉर दी एट पी एम क्लास नो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द लिंक इन ज्वाइन इन आस्क यू कोड एंटर द कोड ऋतु एम बी ए यू कैन अटेंड ऑल द फ्री क्लासेस सो बस यू हैव टू गो टू दी अन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप ओके कम ऑन preposition with abstain always from amit always from abstain from refrain from okay next one guys acerate leaves what are acerate leaves okay something this shape you know bahut teekha bahut teekha those are called as acerate leaves because acerate means sharp so acerate means leaves which are very sharp or leaves which are very pointed the leaf blade is very sharp or which is very pointed like needle like good sumit now when you say acerbic when you say acidulous when you say acrid when you say acrimonious when you say acerbate in sab ka matlab hota hai guys something that is very caustic something that is very pungent something that is very victory or like with guys aap log tone karoge aapko ye sab words bahut aayenge if you have given the previous combats also you will realize that i have included a lot of these words in them caustic pungent vitriolic vituperative scathing biting cutting okay very good guys pungent acerbic or synonyms batao chalo tell me more synonyms it means very very harsh language guys it means very severe language it means very severe language very harsh language very penetrating language theek hai to matlab very bitter okay isko aap bitter bol lo theek hai bahut zyada bitter language so acrid taste sour pungent bitter okay you can say acetic a c e t i c okay acetic guys right something that is yes correct you can say vinegary because vinegar guys also bahut hi pungent hota hai so you can say vinegary you can say something that is if you're talking about smell no you can say miasmic smell a miasmic smell is a very noxious smell so or a very pungent smell jaise tadka ka smell hota hai ya carbon monoxide ka smell hota hai okay so miasmic atmosphere so ab miasmic bhi bol sakte ho okay tarty you can also say something which is very tarty okay clear guys did all of you understand this all of these means bitter bitter cutting tarting abysmal is something which is terrible or appalling correct such a language will be called as abysmal language or appalling language but abysmal does not mean bitter abysmal just means terrible okay got it guys right so miasmic smell exacerbate if you have exacerbated a situation you have worsened the situation for example uh, guys agar aap bolo ki iska situation already bad tha aur fir you know medicine uh, pain killer ya kuch liya but the situation exacerbated exacerbated basically means worsened belligerent uh, okay belligerent is someone who fights a lot okay someone who is very aggressive or belligerent okay bellicose belligerent theek hai ओके सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर नेगेटिव वर्ड्स इसका जो ऑपोजिट होगा गाइस आप सूदिंग बोल सकते हो आप एमिएबल बोल सकते हो आप एमिटी बोल सकते हो आप काम बोल सकते हो आप प्लेजेंट बोल सकते हो आप यू नो रिडोलेंट अगर आप स्मेल की बात कर रहे हो तो ऑपोजिट ऑफ बैड स्मेल इज रिडोलेंट रिडोलेंट इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी प्लेजेंट स्मेलिंग ओके गुड गाइज करेक्ट 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 वॉट इज अ सेवेंथ वर्ड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एसरे एस अबेट so when you say for example i'll use it in a sentence okay asabet ko i will use it in a sentence now if i say uh, to asabet the situation or to asabet someone it means to worsen okay to you can say to irritate someone to embitter karna kisi cheez ko aur khara karna kisi cheez ko aur bitter karna 
Got it, guys? Did all of you understand this? Indolent, nay. Indolent is lazy. Indolent is lazy. Redolent is perfume. Redolent means pleasant smelling. Indolent is lazy. Sixth word, acrimonious. Wait, I'll remove this. Okay, when you say acrimonious dispute, acrimonious dispute is a very, very bitter dispute. Acrimonious dispute between two countries. Are very good. Mollify karna, soothe karna, pacify karna, calm down karna, ya soothe karna. Very good. Haan, dole se indolent, correct. So, uh, acrimonious is a very bitter dispute. Hi, uh, hi guys, welcome to the session. Hi, Aman. Acute. Acute is sharp. If you have an acute mind, mental acuity. Acuity also means sharpness. Iska jo opposite hoga na guys, wo hoga obtuse. Jaysay hum log acute angle triangle bolte, waysay obtuse. Obtuse, dolt, imbecile. All of these words mean someone who is very stupid or foolish. Stupid or foolish. Exacerbate ka matlab worsen karna. Koi cheez bura hai, usko aur bura banana. Very good. Blunt. Correct. Excellent. Very good, guys. All of you are doing really well. Molly, very good. Molly Coddle. Acumen. You have good business acumen. You have keen business insight. Okay. Got this, everyone? Clear with this? Correct. Correct, dear. In a way, persuade karna. Okay. Deteriorating. Acumen is insight. Business acumen, business insight. Clear? Okay. Very good. Next one. Come on guys. Here comes Ami. Here comes love. Here comes friend. Hi Purnima. Acumen matlab insight. Meet if you have business acumen. Aap business ke feel mein bahut sharp ho. Aapko bahut achhi knowledge hai business ki. Okay. Now guys. Love and friend. Amiable is something which is lovable. Amiable is something which is pleasant. Amicable is something which is mutually agreed mutually agreed something which is harmonious so best example to remember this guys is amicable divorce amicable divorce amicable divorce is something which is a harmonious divorce but amiable is very lovable amiable is very pleasant basically guys because latin may french may amor spanish may amor ka matlab hota hai love what is amity Amity bollo, amigo bollo, amigo, amity in sab ka matlab hota hai guys, friendship. Okay, it means friendship. Correct, correct. Very good, very good. Amorous, intense, bahut zada intense passion. Okay, if you say amorous relationship, intensely passionate relationship. Harmonious, correct. Amicable, for example, uh, uh, amicable divorce tha, matlab harmonious tha, koi bitterness nahi tha, koi discord nahi tha. Very good. Ameliorate. Guys, ameliorate is the opposite of exacerbate. Exacerbate ka matlab tha, worsen ho na. Correct? Exacerbate bollo, aggravate bollo. Aggravate ka matlab hai, worsen ho na. Exacerbate ka matlab hai, worsen ho na. Ameliorate is basically betterment. Ameliorate is improvement. Achha hona. That is called as ameliorate. Very good. Amenity. Guys, what are amenities? Amenities are basically what is given in order to give you something which is very, it makes, makes, it makes your life something very comfortable. Okay, I'll just write comfy guys. It makes our life comfy. It makes our life pleasant. Okay, so that is called as amenity. Correct. Very good, Dia. Mitigate. Very good amenable guys if you're someone who's very amenable to change you're very open you're very receptive you're not stubborn Aap stubborn nahi ho. Aapko bolo to aap sun lete ho. so are you very open you're very receptive you're very amenable to change okay next one guys come on let's go to the next one let's go to the next one Okay, in amorato and in amorata. Repeat amenable, amit. If I say you're very amenable to change, you're very open to change. You're very receptive to change. Aap stubborn nahi ho. Aap stuck up nahi ho. Aap, aap accept karte ho. Okay, right. So guys, in amorato and in amorata, 
एमिटी क्या होता है एमिटी होता है फ्रेंडशिप दर इज लॉट ऑफ एमिटी बिटवीन द कॉलीग्स एमिटी बिटवीन द कॉलीग्स मीन दर इज अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप और कैमराडरी बिटवीन द कॉलीग्स नो सुबीर फ्रॉम बैंगलोर सो इमोराटो सॉरी इन एमोराटो इज मेल इन एमोराटा इज फीमेल दिस बेसिकली मीन्स अ बॉय और अ मेल हुम यू फॉल इन इन लव विथ ओके इन लव विथ ओके समवन हुम यू आर इन लव विथ सो इन एमोराटो इज इज द मेल इज a uh, person whom you fall in love with and in amurata is the female you fall in love with okay perspicacious is wise you think perspicacious na a perspicacious person is a wise person a perspicacious person is a sagacious person amor very good amore means love exactly amalgamation guys jab businesses amalgamate hote hain तो मॉर्ज होता है ओके विच वन विच वन आकाश विच वन इज नॉट क्लियर ओके सो गाइस अमेलगमेट इज बेसिकली मर्ज विथ होम विल यू यूज इट आदित्य ओके बट आदित्य यू विल बी द इनामो रातो यू आर द मेल करेक्ट सो इनामो रातो ओके सो इनामो राटा गाइस इज द फीमेल हुम यू फॉल इन लव विथ क्लियर डिड ऑल इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ Okay. No, for example, Amit. Uh, uh, let us say. Uh, let's take the example of. Correct, correct, Ritik. Exactly. So, for example, if you say Romeo and Juliet, so Romeo would be the enamorato, and Juliet would be the enamorata. Got it now, guys? Yes or no? Clear with this now? Acha, nay nay, Amit, nay. देखेंगे, देखेंगे. <laughs> okay. So guys, amateur is basically someone who is in a uh, you are a beginner in a profession. So amateur, you know, when you say amateur photographer, जब आप amateur photographer बोलोगे, Shadzi, what is Shadzi? Wait, guys, listen. Amateur, amateur is basically a beginner. amateur is a green horn amateur is a novice or a fresher amateur is a noob rookie but guys it has a positive connotation amateur has a positive con positive connotation rookie etc inka negative connotation hota hai okay so when you say amateur guys you can say beginner you can say green horn you will say novice you will say tender foot but you're doing it because you have a love for that profession correct you can say dabbler okay you can say debutant i know i'm writing it here guys in the opposite column but consider it here debutant you can also say dilettant okay correct 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 okay clear guys did all of you understand this okay if you are enamored by the beauty of the place If you are enamored by the beauty of the place, you are in love with the beauty of the place. You are fascinated by the beauty of the place. Correct. Clear, guys. Did all of you understand this? But guys, two important words here. Three actually: amiable, amicable, amity, and even you can go with ameliorate, even amenable, guys. These words are very, very crucial. Mesmerized. Very good. Q Priyansh. you want to know the 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 name subir attend the sessions attend the sessions subir your vocabulary will improve automatically your vocabulary will improve automatically clear guys did all of you understand this ritik don't jot down listen don't jot down ritik ritik i will send across the pdf to you i will send it across to you don't worry okay and i'll also send across the root words pdf with sample words important wale and the explanation don't worry okay don't jot down it's okay sit and listen absorb it okay come on guys let's go to the next one now anim mind will and spirit guys very important jab aap animus or animosity bolte ho two very important words guys two very important words when you say animosity or animus it basically means hatred it means ill will 
ओके सो देर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एनिमोसिटी बिटवीन द कॉलिग्स इसका मतलब एनिमिटी होता है got it everyone so guys animus and animosity means hatred and ill will the opposite of this is going to be amity clear guys did all of you understand this okay next one anim and aversion guys i have included it in this root word kyunki students bahut bolte hain of this correct hostility bhi bol sakte hain very good you can say hostility as well but guys anim and aversion is actually an exception it does not come under this root word What is the meaning of animadversion, guys? Animadversion basically means criticism. Animadversion means censure. So, animadversion, censure or criticism. Clear? Ha, malicious. Bol sakte ho malice. Very good. Malice, ill will. Excellent, guys. Animadversion is criticism. Now, let's come up to this, guys. Uni. Uni means one. Mag means big. Equa means equal or balanced. Okay, in means not. Re means again. So let's put across these together. Unanimity means of one mind. So when you say one mind, it basically means consensus. So if you have taken a unanimous decision, yes, and this is well, Priyanshu. Correct, correct, Amit. But it's it's associated with that you know ill wala will will root word will hai but ill will hai. Unanimous means all together taking a decision on something. Consensus. Very good. Excellent. Magnanimous is a very very benevolent person. Someone who has a very big heart. Someone who is very kind. Someone who is very generous. Someone who is very very munificent. okay someone who is a very munificent benevolent large hearted person thank you engineer okay the opposite of this is going to be someone who is stingy okay someone who is a miser someone who is a parsimonious person okay someone who is not generous someone who is cruel altruistic bol sakte ho very good and altruistic person Okay, guys. Bene also means good. Correct, correct, Pranjal. Altruism. We'll come to that word as well. वो भी हमारे slides में है. It means thinking about the other person. Very good. Altruistic. Inanimate object. When you say inanimate, मतलब guys, lifeless. No life. No life. Spirit का मतलब life होता है. Okay. To reanimate. Reanimate means again bring back to life. Bring back to life. Okay. Rejuvenate करना. and live in karna thrifty is a positive word priyanshu thrifty is someone who spends carefully so thrifty is someone who spends carefully so that's more like a positive word okay animism guys jab bhi aap ism bolte ho na ism is basically like a belief so what is the belief you believe that all plants animals everyone has life wo belief that everybody has life everybody is sentient that is called as animism clear did all of you understand this guys so when you believe that plants animal in sab mein life hai they are all living creatures that belief is called as animism frugal is also positive correct a pusillanimous person jisme koi spirit nahi hai someone who has no courage someone who is a coward someone who is a paper tiger unanimous ka synonym hai consensus consensus basically means one minded decision ओके वी फॉर गॉट इक्वानिमिटी ना गाइस सॉरी इक्वानिमिटी गाइस यहां पे लिख देती हूं इक्वल एन मींस माइंड यू हैव अ वेरी बैलेंस्ड माइंड यू आर वेरी काम ओके यू आर वेरी अनपर्टर्ब्ड परटर्ब करना मतलब डिस्टर्ब करना अनपर्टर्ब मतलब यू आर नॉट डिस्टर्ब्ड यू हैव अ वेरी बैलेंस्ड माइंड काम माइंड यू कैन आल्सो कॉल सच अ पर्सन एज अ फ्लेगमैटिक पर्सन अ फ्लेगमैटिक फ्लेगमैटिक पर्सन मींस अ वेरी काम पर्सन क्लियर गाइस हाँ करेक्ट प्रियांशु बट इट्स ऑल्सो यूज फॉर प्रैक्टिस एंड बिलीव जैसे हम बोलते हैं हिंदुइज्म बुद्धिज्म जैनिज्म करेक्ट सो इट्स इट्स ऑल्सो अबाउट अ प्रैक्टिस और इट्स ऑल्सो अबाउट अ बिलीफ करेक्ट फ्लेगमैटिक एंड इम्पर्टर्बेबल वेरी गुड बलराम एंड ओके एमिट श्योर भूल से आ गया गाइज रिपीटेशन एंड प्रीवियस लाइट का लॉन्ग एनिमिटी गाइज लॉन्ग मतलब रियली लॉन्ग एनिम मीन्स योर ओके सो गाइज समन हु हैज बेड ओके 
टू टॉलरेट लिसन गाइस इसका मतलब क्या होता है टू टॉलरेट प्रोलॉन्ग्ड सफरिंग ओके इफ यू डिस्प्ले लॉन्ग एनिमिटी यू डिस्प्ले वेरी गुड टॉलरेंस टूवर्ड्स लॉन्ग लॉन्ग सफरिंग और प्रोलॉन्ग्ड सफरिंग डन डन रिथे ग्रुप पे डाल दो लॉन्ग टर्म बिलीफ नहीं लॉन्ग एनिमिटी इज बेसिकली आप बहुत मतलब यू सफर एंड यू बेयर दैट सफरिंग फ्रू रियली लॉन्ग टाइम that is called as long anonymity clear guys did all of you understand this yes or no clear with this okay let's take up the last word for today guys we'll continue in tomorrow's class i think you know just speed se hum log ja rahe maybe we'll take another uh, okay come on guys let's come to the last one for today and then i'll meet you in the 8 pm session okay last wala aaj ke liye an example of long anonymity they are if i say he displayed uh, he displayed exceptional long anonymity Uh, in his fight against covid so he suffered for a really long time but he tolerated it and he bore that suffering really well satvik a uh, niche description pe link hai ritu dudhodia telegram link or you can just go it's a public group to aap telegram pe type kar sakte ho an academy underscore ritu dudhodia dan mili i will do so ha dan dan amit you have to revise it anju 5 pm 5 pm ye vocabulary series chalegi guys daily youtube pe और 8 पीएम पे हमारी स्पेशल क्लास होगी विच आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू अटेंड यूजिंग द कोड ऋतु एम बी ए पांच बजे होती है प्रेम ओके सो गाइस एंट और एंटी मींस बिफोर जैसे एंटीक इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी ओल्ड व्हेन यू से द लॉज ऑफ द कंट्री आर वेरी एंटीक्वेटेड एंटीक्वेटेड आल्सो मींस ओल्ड इट मींस समथिंग व्हिच इज बैकवर्ड इट मींस समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी रिग्रेसिव है ना इट मीन समथिंग विच इज वेरी रेट्रोग्रेड ओल्ड फैशन है बैकवर्ड है रिग्रेसिव है ओके सो उसके लिए आप एंटीक्वेटेड बोलते हो एंटी डिलूवियन भी सेम है एंटी डिलूवियन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑप्सोलीट टेक्नोलॉजी जो अभी काम नहीं आती है जो बहुत पुरानी हो चुकी है जो बहुत बैकवर्ड हो चुकी है वेरी गुड एंटी बिलिम गाइज वी विल डू बेलिम ठीक है बेलिम का मतलब होता है वॉर एंटी बिलिम पीरियड इज नथिंग बट द प्री वॉर पीरियड ओके जैसे एंटीबिलिम पीरियड वाज वेरी काम एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंटीबिलिम इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी प्री वॉर गुड गुड प्रियांशु एक्सीलेंट अरे वाव ऋतिक वेरी गुड एंटे सीड एंटे मींस बिफोर सीड मींस गो सो एंटे सीड इज सेम एज प्रिसीड समथिंग व्हिच हैपेंस बिफोर वेरी गुड एंटीरियर गाइस एंटीरियर का ऑपोजिट होगा पोस्टीरियर anterior basically means the front portion posterior means the back portion ha krishna uh, wednesday ko subah 8 baje hoti hai wednesday morning 8 am so our plus classes are on wednesday saturday and sunday three days antediluvian technology is again old obsolete very old old fashioned same cheez hota hai okay and then antelude guys you've heard of prelude so antelude is same as prelude it's more like a beginner generally antelude jo hota hai play ke beginning mein jo thoda sa introduction diya jata hai usko jaise you can call it more as a preamble or as a prelude okay you can call it as a preamble or you can call it as a prelude very good ante type ante type means a previous type of something okay for example guys uh, if you if uh, homonyms uh, if you say homonyms where an ante type of human beings wo human beings ke pehle avatar the so like a previous avatar or a previous type that is called as ante uh, that is called as uh, uh, aapka previous type is called as ante type clear did all of you understand this guys clear with this everyone okay now i have a little bit of a homework for you guys so that we can you know we can have more a better discussion now i want all of you to note down guys kal aapko mere ko inse words dhoond ke lana hai okay so guys yes yes rithik i will send it tonight guys you have to tell me words from anti tomorrow you have to tell me words from ali okay just take a screenshot okay just take a screenshot of these guys or i'll put the ppt on the group aap log dekh ke aana theek hai inka guys ambi amphi ambul और ये ये पांच रूट्स का इसमें ग्रुप पे पीपीटी की डालूंगी आप लोग भर के मीनिंग्स ढूंढ के आओगे एंड वील डिस्कस इट इन द फर्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ आर क्लास क्लियर गाइस क्लियर विद दिस एवरीवन आई विल पुट द पीपीटी ऑन द ग्रुप ओके गुड गाइस सो आई विल सी यू ऑल टुमारो 
ओके एंड नॉट टुमारो आज आठ बजे की क्लास है गाइज एंड प्लीज एवरी वन टेकिंग द सब्सक्रिप्शन गाइज आई वुड वॉन्ट ऑल इफ यू टू यूज द कोड रितु एम बी ए ओके गाइज जल्दी से अपना प्लास का सब्सक्रिप्शन बुक करो गाइज बिकॉज यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस आउट द सेक्शनल कोर्स यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस आउट द पैरा बेस्ड क्वेश्चन कोर्स यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस आउट द एक्सपर्ट बैचेस यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस आउट गाइज एक्सेप्शनल कॉन्टेंट रोलिंग आउट इन मे सो प्लीज मेक श्योर करेक्ट करेक्ट तो एंटी लूड होगा करेक्ट प्रतीक okay take care everyone i will see you all soon i want all of you to take the iconic subscription and see your face on the wall yes ishan first vocab class ask it out feature use karo where you can take a screenshot of your doubt and pin it up and you will get real time solution see you all at 8 pm come back dena mat bhulna guys har sunday 12 baje where you can win scholarships on your where you can win scholarship on your plus subscription just use the code ritu mba done done thank you थैंक यू एंटी चेंबर रितेश फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर डॉक्टर का चेंबर होता है उससे पहले छोटा सा वेटिंग रूम होता है ना घुसने से पहले तो अ स्मॉल चेंबर बिफोर अ बिग चेंबर दैट स्मॉल चेंबर इज कॉल्ड एज एंटी चेंबर ओके टेक केयर एवरी वन आई विल सी यू ऑल सून थैंक यू एवरी वन ओके आई सी यू ऑल एट एट पी एम थैंक यू गाइज बाय सेम टू यू सेम टू यू गाइज टेक केयर बाय